right guys, so how you doing? So, something needs to be said about the Byzantine Empire and why Byzantine is actually a completely appropriate word to describe this empire. So, there are so many videos on the internet and they say they're about the Byzantine Empire, um, videos about the Byzantine Empire even through the months, through the years and you can see how it shrinks and shrinks and tries every time it tries to grow it shrinks again and all the comments are saying they were Romans, we should call them the Roman Empire and yes they call themselves the Roman Empire but and, and yes the Turks called themselves them the Romans and yes many others called themselves the Romans but you have to understand the Western perspective and the Western tradition and this video is explaining that they were not called the Romans in the West, they were called the Greek Empire. And I got into an argument just now on Facebook and, and I was saying, why, why, why do they know, never show the Holy Roman Empire, which was the Western version, as a successor state down through the ages? That, and, and, people say, because, and people have been replying to me because it wasn't the successor. Like, what, what, what? Why do they think we're using the Latin alphabet? Here's the thing, the Holy Roman Empire was the successor, as far as the West was concerned, of the Roman Empire. If you look in Medieval Chronicles, if you, which I have done in my research, if you look at all this, the, the, the Byzantines are always described as the Greek Empire, the Greek Emperor, right? Now, the Byzantines refer to themselves as Romania, Romania, right? the Romanians, and um, part of this legacy, I, I presume, survives in the name Romania. That's not from the Roman settlers who lived there. Uh, it, it is partly from that, but it's, it's also from the name. And, and even the gypsies seem to have taken this name, I believe, from the Eastern Roman Empire. I think they came through the Eastern Roman Empire, lived there for a long time, and then continued to uh, Western Europe, they were basically the untouchables. So you have to understand, from the perspective of the West, the East Roman Empire, pretty much after, after Justinian, has been called the Greek Empire. It has been called the East Roman Empire. After they lost Egypt, it's called the Greek Empire. And after Charlemagne, 800 AD, became the first Holy Roman Emperor, that's it. The Byzantine Empire is no longer the Roman Empire because the Roman Empire is basically Greater Germany, North Italy. It's the reason North Italians are blonde. That was part of Germany. That was Germany. And that's why they, German art and Italian art of the Renaissance looks the same. So that became the Roman Empire, which is fascinating. And um, ironically enough, the Germans... <laughs> It's so strange, the Germans were actually pushed out of Germany by the Slavs, it seems, uh, in about 1000 AD, and, and they, settled in, um, they settled in France, and that was the Reich, and then they, they, they took it back, they pushed them back, they took it back, and, uh, and, and they made their new uh, Roman Empire uh, on the Roman model, because they, they wanted to become Romans. So that is the reason why Byzantines are not called the Roman Empire. People say, well, this was, what's this Byzantine? They were Romans. That's the reason. In the West, they were never the Romans after Charlemagne. They were the Greek Empire, okay? So I wanted to clear that up to make a record for all the people who are, who are, who are getting it wrong. They were not considered Romans. The Romans was, was Frederick II, the German Emperor. They were considered the Romans. Or people living in Rome were considered the Romans. It actually, people coming from Rome were called Romans. People living in Greece were not called Romans in the West. There is no Roman, emp emperor, uh, Roman Empire after Charlemagne in Constantinople. Yes, they called themselves the children of New Rome, but, but they were not considered that in the West. They were the Greek Empire. I just want to get that straight to all the people out there on, on YouTube in the comments. When all those videos I'm seeing, and they're saying, oh, we should call it the Roman Empire, get rid of the Byzantine designation. No, 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 no. Even the Italians called them the Byzantines in the 1500s. So, so they were not the Romans, okay? The Romans were, live, they were the people living in Rome, and they were the German Emperor and the German Empire, which was called the Holy Roman Empire. Empire. That was the successor state of the whole Roman world. That's it. That's the reason, okay? Thank you so much.
So, so if you go into medieval history, as I have done, you become aware of all these nuances. Now, when Charlemagne became the Holy Roman Emperor in 1801, uh, uh, sorry, in uh, 801 AD, what happened was he had to prove he was the Emperor. So he had the ascent of the Pope, who was the successor of the Roman Pontifex Maximus, and he was, he was crowned Emperor. And um, this is something that Napoleon also did. Napoleon was almost the last Holy Roman Emperor, taking the, the crown, the authority away from the Pope, supposedly putting it on his own head a thousand years later. That was the first thousand year Reich, and then someone else wanted to have another one. But, but the thing is, Charlemagne had to prove he was the Emperor. How did he go about this? So in 2012, I was fortunate enough to go to Charlemagne's capital, Aachen. Um, you know, I drove a car in Germany and it's, oh, it's, it's, it's an incredible country, absolutely incredible. And you go into his, his palace, is, is, it was unfortunately one of the, the Kaisers converted into some other hall, unfortunately, they were so stupid back then. And you, but you, what's left is you can go into the ruin of the, the chapel and it's, it's like a small Hagia Sophia. It's, you can see the influence of, of, of the, the traditional, of the Dark Ages. He brought pillars from Ravenna, from Ravenna in Italy, pillars to show he was the new Roman emperor. That was the late Roman capital. He brought uh, marble from Jerusalem to make a throne. So I, I was fortunate enough, I got a quick, I believe I got a quick touch of this throne when the guide wasn't looking um, and it, all the others had sort of moved off and I just sort of touched, I wanted to touch Charlemagne's throne. And that throne is still there. It's on an upper level in, in, this, uh, in Charlemagne's uh, cathedral. And um, so you can see that, you can see other Charlemagne cathedrals in Germany, that was considered the Roman Empire, that was the restored Roman Empire. So because of that restoration, that's why the Byzantines are not considered part of the Roman world, they are considered as almost interlopers, a bit pathetic, hanging on to the past, desperately trying to claw their way back, but never being good enough. You see, that explains it. So there's people on the internet saying, oh, it has to, there should be, Ro they're, they're, they're not Romans, okay, guys? Yes, they inherited some of the legacy, but they were, um, they, they were not considered that because of that restored empire in the West. That's all I wanted to tell you guys, setting the record straight on that issue.